What's up guys, this is Matt, and welcome back to my fifth Dwarf Fortress video. In the last video, we didn't get too much done. I showed you how to build stuff at workshops, and I think that was about all that happened. Um, in this video, really, all that I want to get done is, I know I'm going to be running quick on time. I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter. Um, really, what I want to do is I want to set up a dormitory, and I want to set up a dining hall, as well as building our first farm plots. So let's go right down to the stone levels, and let's start designating some bedrooms to get dug out. Um, for right now, let's just do... Um, let's, let's try to come up with a pattern. Let's just do a little... We'll give This is what we'll give the, the dwarves to live in. Actually, let's make it a little closer. All right, so I'll leave a, a space for the door, and then um, we'll have a space for the bed, and then any furniture that I might want to put in there later. And you can make you can make the rooms as simple as that. It could be a line if you want. There could be a whoops, press X. Um, there could be a door and then a bed. That's all you really need to do. Um, and just to show you guys some things that are possible, I'll. You know, I'll just do something a little bit more interesting. You don't have to do it this way. And we'll just designate a couple rooms. Here's eight. We only started with seven dwarves, so this will be fine for now. And we'll make the we'll make the rooms go out in a couple directions, this way and that way. But this will be the first set of of rooms. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. I had to step away from the microphone for a second. Um, anyway, so what we were doing, we were designating some rooms, and I also am going to go down another level, and we're going to start digging out another square, and we're going to do a nice big room for a dining room. I think I'm going to do a dining room down here, and then actually we'll, we'll do a dining room yeah, down here, and then we'll make a hallway over here with um, there'll be a food stockpile and then some places to make alcohol and to prepare the food and I think what I'll do is I'll make a staircase leading all the way up to the farm plot area and that way they have a nice quick way to get from to get the food from the farms all the way down to the kitchens and speaking of farms, let's build those next while the dwarves are digging out their new bedrooms. So we're going to press the letter B to build, and then we're going to press the letter P for farm plot. All right. This could be a little strange at first, or it might not. Who knows? You're going to use the letters U and M to make this square bigger, or you know, taller and wider. And K and H will, will then shrink it back down. And just to start us off, I want to do a 3x3 three three farm plot. So I'm going to hit U twice, and that's going to... You can still move these around afterwards. And I'm going to press K twice. So I guess I explained that wrong, but you get the idea. U and K. And now I have a 3x3 three three plot, and I can move it around. And as long as it's green, that means I can place it there, and I'll be allowed to farm that particular area. And just to start us off, I will build a farm plot right here. So I'm going to press enter. And whoever our grower or farmer is, he will come and he'll start to set this plot up. Now, I wasn't going to cover this, but I see some, some dead things. I don't know what they are. We can press K and we can take a look. Um, hamster remains, rat remains. It looks like our cats have been busy. And I thought that this stockpile was not supposed to take any refuse or corpses. It's not. Maybe they were in there and that's where the cat happened to kill it. What we're going to do is I'm going to go outside and we'll make this up the hill as well. But I'm going to go and I'm going to hit P for stockpile. Sorry, it's over here. And I'm going to press R for refuse and I'm going to make a a decent size here and this is where they're gonna put dead remains uh, not bodies they won't put dead dwarfs there but they're gonna just put garbage garbage um, 
out in the open, no problem. It'll just rot. It'll do whatever. But rotting garbage underground, so within a fortress, creates a cloud of what's called miasma, I believe is how you pronounce it. And it's not very pleasant. You'll you'll see this pink, literally a cloud, and it'll start to fill up the whole fortress, and your dwarves just don't like it. So we're going to we're going to just stay away from it at all costs. We're going to keep all the dead stuff outside. Looks like we also have a gem in here. And let's build. We can see our staircase is here, so it does not move. And let's start building down. Ooh, I should have done the bedrooms down here. This would have been nice bedrooms. But let's, we got some gems here. Let's dig out a nice sized dining room. And we'll do, uh, we'll make uh, some kind of hallway coming into it. Maybe a bottleneck a little bit, and it'll open back up into a nice sized dining room. And I'm going to make it quite large. Could probably go bigger, but I don't think it's a huge deal right now. We could always widen it later. And like I said, I'm going to build some food storage and some preparations. So before we get too far along, let's designate a downward stairway for our growers. That way they can get down to the kitchens nice and quickly, bring the food down. So let's also have our dwarves dig that out. Now pro they're probably going to worry about the dining room first. But for now, I can show you beds. And building a bed and a table and chair and any other object is just like how we did nest boxes in the last episode. And we're going to press the letter B for build, and then we're going to press B again for bed. Now you're going to have your little placement selector, and let's just place a bed. Like I said, we are going to build a door, a door here, which I'm going to have to do that in a moment, but we'll place the bed right across from the door. We'll place a bed here. We have a couple options. There's four beds right now. We'll just pick the first one. And let's hit B again for bed, and we'll place another one. And we're just going to build all four beds. Enter. Now, we are going to have to go queue up another couple beds. So let's go up, and let's queue. We had four, so we're going to need another three. So I'm going to hit B, B, and B. And let's set up some doors. So we're going to go over to the Mason's Workshop after hitting Q. And now we're going to hit A to add a task. And we're going to hit the letter D for door. And because we have, we're making seven rooms, let's make seven door, uh, doors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I could have also told him to repeat, but in that case, he would just keep going until I told him to stop. So I'll just tell him to make seven to get us started. And... I really want to show you how to set up a bedroom next, so I kind of have to wait for a door to be made. I guess I don't really, but I was hoping that somebody would do it. And it doesn't look like we're going to get that lucky, so let me just show you how to make a bedroom. Now this is going to be the same for making any room. When you make a throne room or a study, um, a dining room, and a bedroom. We're going to hit the letter Q. And we're going to go and select a bed. Now, this, these two, they're still black. They haven't been made yet. Let's go to a bed that's already here. You're going to see the option to make a bedroom if you press the letter R. Now, these blinking blue squares, or blue Xs, show us the dimensions of the room. Now, we do not want this dwarf's bedroom spilling out into the hallway. So if you use the plus and minus key, you put, well, minus, and we'll make it a little bit smaller. You see, you could actually make it one square large. We're going to make it just the dimensions of the room. Now, if you were to put a door here first, the bedroom would, you wouldn't be able to make it larger than the room because the door would stop it. But right now, there's no door there. So this is the bedroom. We're going to press enter. And we're not going to assign the bed because we, we're going to let anybody sleep in there. So it has no owner. Um, you can assign it. You can, If you press assign, it'll bring up a list of your dwarves. And just to show you, I will assign this first one. We'll give it to our expedition leader, um, who I believe, yes, is one of our miners. And 
so this is by pressing plus and minus, and I'll press enter to assign it to him. That is now his bedroom, or her bedroom. That might have been a female. That might be, I'm not sure. And you can do the same thing. We scroll over to this bedroom and press the minus key to adjust the size. And now, if you leave it unassigned, any dwarf that's tired and wants to take that room will take it, and he'll claim it for himself. Um, and eventually, I will make a barracks. That way, when we get waves of uh, migration waves coming in, they'll have somewhere to sleep until we get around to making accommodations for everybody. So you see more beds be being brought in. And just for the sake of time, I'm going to I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to allow the dwarves to finish digging this out while we're off screen as well as the staircase over here. But when we come back, that should all be done. And I'll show you how to set up a dining room, although it will be done the same way as the bedrooms that we just that I just showed you. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for the little interruption there. I know I sounded a little off when I came back. I couldn't quite remember what I had talked about before, and I didn't really have time to go back and listen to what I recorded. So I am sorry that this video is a little off. Um, but I did cover everything that I wanted to cover in this video. So I think that's the first time that I've actually met my own requirements. And please stay tuned for the next video. If you like this video, leave it a like. Please leave me some constructive criticism. If you see me doing something and you know an easier way to do it, please tell me because I'm still very new to this game as well. I just find it a lot of fun, very fascinating, and I know that at least personally, when I first tried to learn this game, I wasn't able to get into it because I didn't understand how to play it. And after watching videos and people um, explaining step by step how to do stuff, I, I was able to learn the game more and more. And so now I want to make sure that I kind of pass that on. Any little knowledge that I've gained, I want to be able to, to, to help people get into this wonderful game, this wonderful world of Dwarf Fortress. So anyway, just sorry, kind of repeating myself, but thank you for watching the video. Leave me a like, and I will see you next time.